Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the last video I showed you guys how to install React.js which is a JavaScript library or a JavaScript framework if you want to call it onto your computer system as well as Node.js which is required to go hand in hand with React if you want to start building applications using React. So in the last video we left off with this folder called React YouTube Tutorial, which we got by going to our terminal and then typing npx create react app and then the name of that folder, but obviously we don't want to do that and since I did control C, that just broke out of my server, so if I refresh, it's going to say this site can't be reached, so I have to go back to VS Code and do npm start to start up our server again. As you can see, it says React Script Start, and there we go, we got our server back up and running. And we have our spinning logo as well as some of the text below it and this link which takes you to the react.js website but as i said in the last video we don't want this we want to actually get started in react and start writing react code so to do that let's go to our app.js file which you can find by going to that folder and then clicking on source and then navigating to where it says app.js and from this header up you just want to remove all that and when you do that that's going to get rid of all this and I will have a blank browser. So now you can start doing whatever you want. So I'll just say H1 and say hello world just to, just to test out that it's actually working. And as you can see, it actually does work, which is awesome. And I might as well show you some other things that we should remove that React provides us with. So we don't need this logo SVG. Get rid of that. We also don't need this. And then go inside of our index.js, which references that file we deleted called report web vitals. If we don't get rid of this, it's going to throw off an error. And this will also throw off an error, so I will remove it. But first, just to prove it to you that it does, I'm going to go back to my browser. And as, as you can see, it says over here, module not found, error can't resolve, and then the name of that file. So we have to remove that since it doesn't exist anymore, like so. And now our next error is the logo SVG inside of the source. So let's go find that. So it's over here. We imported logo, which doesn't exist anymore. So that's also going to throw off an error. And I believe that's all the files that we need to remove. So we can start writing HTML in here or doing whatever we want. Just have like a little button saying click me. And then we can give it like an on click event. And event listeners in React are pretty similar to JavaScript, I guess. All you do is type on click or whatever the event name is in your case equals to a set of curly braces and then the name of the function you want to run. So I'll just say on button click. That's the name of my function. And now this function doesn't exist yet. So we have to go inside of our function underneath our function right here and create another function called on button click equal to an arrow function. And we can just do something very basic. So when we click on this button, it's going to alert hi to us. So when we click, it says hi. And that's about it. There's also other things in React you can learn called hooks, which makes coding in React a lot easier. You do a lot of data management and stuff like that in React. So I'll be teaching you that in the future. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, stay tuned for the next video where we'll be talking about some React hooks, specifically the use state hook. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in that next video.